Alrighty guys, in today's video we are doing a speed test between the brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm going to put these head to head and see which one comes out on top. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Alrighty guys, hopping into the speed test, I do have the iPhone 13 Pro Max on my left and the iPhone 14 Pro Max on my right. Um, everything is identical with these phones, the only difference is the iPhone 14's actually had a patch on day one of release which is today so 16.0.1 is only for the iphone 14s and no other phone got that so that is the only difference between these two phones um so we're going to get out of this we're going to clear the app switcher here um as you guys can see everything is identical no sim cards on either phones um and we're going to do a boot up test so we're going to power down both devices all right so let's power down both devices all right so these are going to power down and on the count of three i'm going to plug in the adapter for both of these devices at the exact same time because they're both on the same power board um, and we're going to see which one starts up first all right so on the count of three one two three all right so that noise you did here was my laptop the iphone 14 pro max actually has turned on first and you guys can probably see all the fingerprint marks all over the phones all right so 14 Pro Max, as I assumed, came up first. And now followed by the 13 Pro Max. So not too much of a difference at all there. All right, so we make sure the brightness is up on both devices, exactly the same. And we're gonna start off with some general application opening, and then we're gonna to get to some more intensive things as well. So we're gonna start off with something like the App Store. One, two, three. Pretty much the exact same. Let's try that one more time. I'm gonna clear the App Switch just to make sure they're all cleared out now. All right, so one, two, three, identical maps. One, two, three, pretty much identical as well. We're gonna go with Safari, one, two, three. Again, everything's pretty much identical. All right, we've got some speed test um, folder here to run. See which one opens first. All right, so on the count of three, we're gonna open Apple's website, one, two, three. This is pretty much whatever grabs the internet first because they're both on the same network. That was pretty much identical. So this doesn't really show too much of the phone's power, but it's just worth a test to see what they both do. The Verge, one, two, three. Again, identical. And New York Times, which is a bit much heavier website, one, two, three. So again, they're pretty much neck and neck. So not much of a difference there at all. So we're going to leave the app switches open as well, just to see how the RAM does. They both have 6 gig RAM. This has DDR4 RAM. This has DDR5 um, RAM, I think 5X, which is a new type of RAM. Um, so we'll see if that new type of RAM is should be faster, but let's see if it actually makes a difference. All right, guys, I'm going to start off with opening the weather app. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Pretty much exactly the same. Now, I'm not going to get to the speed test yet. We're going to do that coming up last. We're going to open a few more apps, um, and then we'll get to more of the intensive apps. So let's go to YouTube, one, two, three. Pretty much identical. TikTok, one, two, three. Again, pretty much exactly the same. Fruit Ninja, so now we get some games. Let's turn the volumes down so we can't hear the volume. One, two, three. Now, it'll be interesting to see if the A16 Bionic is actually that much faster than the A15 Bionic. I don't think it was in the um, Geekbench stores that came out. Again, that was pretty much neck and neck. I think the 13 Pro Max might've been a little bit faster actually. Um, so not too much of a difference straight off the bat. Let's go Asphalt 9, one, two, three. Again, these games are a bit more intensive. Asphalt 9, a bit more, a bit of a glitch there on both devices. Don't know what that was about. But first off guys, initial impressions, there's not too much of a difference. Like it's not day and night at all. And I think as these phones keep getting updated every year, the difference in speeds isn't going to be as much as what they used to be. So as you guys saw there, there was hardly a couple seconds in that. So pretty much nothing. Let's go Plants versus Zombies 2, 1, 2, 3. Um, which is good if you have an older phone, because if you have an older type of phone, like a, like a 13 Pro Max, it's still going to keep up. As you guys can see there, they're running pretty much exactly the same right now. Again, pretty much identical, so not too much of a difference. All right, let's go to Call of Duty. It's a bit, that is a huge game. One, two, three. And the new iPhone 14s still have the A15 Bionic chip in them. So um, that's how good the chip is. It's still keeping up. 
Obviously, the, a, the iPhone 14 Pro got the A16 Bionic. It's a little bit better, but it's not day and night better. So right now, the iPhone 13 Pro Max looks like it's a bit in the lead. Oh, it's pretty much identical, again. Not much of a difference, guys. This is crazy how close they are. Balloons Tower Defense 6, 1, 2, 3. It'll be interesting to see later on if the RAM makes a difference, this newer RAM in the um, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Again, pretty much nothing in it. They get look at neck on neck. So let's do a Geekbench 5 score. Let's see what that comes up with. Let's go and then after that to a to-do benchmark. Let's see if any of them throttle. And then we can start doing some iMovie and some Lightroom tests. And then finally we'll finish off with a speed test. So let's start off with Geekbench 5. One, two, three. Okay, so that loaded a lot faster. I just know if it's not optimized for this yet, because as you guys can see, it doesn't even have the processor properly on this. So let's run these, and when this is done, I will come back to you. Alrighty guys, Geekbench scores have just come up, and for the multi-core score, not too much of a difference compared to last year. I feel like last year's score between the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max was a lot bigger. This isn't nowhere near as big, I don't think. I think they're, yeah, I don't think it's as big as last year. The multi and the single core scores, not that much of a difference either. So um, the processors aren't too much of a difference in terms of power wise. Um, like it's not a huge over, it's not overly a huge amount. Um, so as you guys can see there, the Geekbench scores. Now let's go and to do benchmark one, two, three. Um, and a higher score in this is um, obviously better. So we'll do this um, and we'll come back to you. One, two, three. All right, guys, as you can see, both phones are finished. The iPhone 14 Pro Max, obviously with a bigger score here. Another 146,000 on top of the 800,000 here from the 13 Pro Max. So as you guys can see, that is the N2 benchmark scores. Let's get out of that one. Um, now we're going to move on to iMovie and export test and see which one exports faster. So I probably should have done that together, but it's okay. We have a movie here set up. We're going to click on the movie and we're going to go to export. Uh, exactly the same movie both on both phones. I was recorded with my Canon 90D. Um, it's a 4K, one, I think it's 1.6 gig video. So if I go save video, one, two, three. I wanna see which one actually saves first. Um, in reality, I think the iPhone 14 Pro Max obviously should win this, but I don't know if this is that much of a difference between the two processors that maybe it won't make that much of a difference. So it'd be interesting to see now they pretty much look neck and neck at the moment. Um, I think the 14 Pro Max might be a little bit ahead. But not much of a difference at all between the two devices so far. In all the tests that we've done, they've pretty much been exactly the same the whole way through. So right now at this point, is it a point of upgrading for the processor? Obviously not, I don't think. Uh, but it just in terms of camera quality we'll find out in the next video when i do a camera test between the two of them see if there's a difference between there with the new 48 megapixel camera um, and that will be an interesting test to see if the camera is worth upgrading and if it's a noticeable difference between the two phones all right so they're both approaching the end here and they're pretty much neck and neck i think they're very very similar in terms of both of them finishing at the same time so that should be done any second now okay pretty much identical i think this actually showed the animation first so honestly exactly the same all right let's go to lightroom export a couple photos one two three all right so we've got a couple photo photos here they're both raw photos here so let's do this one here so this is actually this loaded it fast as you guys can see all right so let's try this another photo if does the same thing let's go this one here yeah no oh, they're both the same they're just letting off the cloud though, so. Oh gosh, for a couple of reasons, I'm not sure why it wasn't working, but the raw photos didn't look like they want to export. Let's try this one. This might just be a JPEG and this might export. I'm not sure. Let's try this one, two, three. Again, they're both doesn't seem like it wants to export. Okay. 13 Pro Max here is finished. Wow, and the 14 Pro Max still got. Okay, I don't know what happened there. All right, let's try that again. 13 Pro Max definitely won that. And that was a non-raw photo. 
I'm not sure why that's the case. Let's try this photo here. It's just taken on my um, DJI Mini 3. Let's try that. One, two, three. Okay. Definitely the 13 Pro Max again. Then the 14 Pro Max. Unless it's not optimized or is it downloading it off the cloud first? I'm not sure. But on both those tests, the 13 Pro Max did actually beat the 14 Pro Max. So there you go. Now, here's what I want to see. I want to see if all the applications are still open in the background. And yes, I haven't forgotten about the speed test. We'll get to that at the end. But let's start off what we did before. App Store, one, two, three. Okay, they both have to load the app back in. Okay, that's weird. Safari, one, two, three. Again, same thing. Maps, one, two, three. That was already loaded in. Weather, one, two, three. That's loaded. Geekbench, one, two, three. Yep, and to do, one, two, three. YouTube, one, two, three. TikTok, one, two, three. Fruit Ninja, one, two, three. Both have to load that back up. Okay, so even with the new RAM, it hasn't, I know it's faster RAM, and I thought maybe it'd load, have more apps loaded in the background, but apparently not. Okay, so that's still got the same issue there. All right, it's got iMovie, one, two, three. Cool, one, two, three on Lightroom. Asphalt, one, two, three. Again, has to load in Asphalt 9. Wow. That's surprising, guys. I honestly really thought that the iPhone 14 Pro Max with the new DDR5 RAM will actually be able to sustain more apps in the background. But apparently, that's not the case, right? Identical. So these processes are very, very similar in terms of speed. Not much of a difference at all from my tests here, anyway. So they're both still loading in Asphalt 9 in the background. Okay, so... As you guys can see there, they're pretty much exactly the same. Plants vs. Zombies 2, 1, 2, 3. That's ready to go. Netflix, 1, 2, 3. That's a new app. I don't think we've loaded Netflix in. Exactly the same. Call of Duty, 1, 2, 3. That's ready to go. And Balloon Star Defense 6, 1, 2, 3. So that's ready to go. That's ready to go as well. Alrighty, guys. Let's open speed test up and see what the... Um, network speeds are like so one two three all right let's make sure they're on the same server so they're not all right, i'm going to put this on the same server and i'm going to come back to you guys once these are all done all right guys here are the results from both speed tests as you guys can see the iphone 14 pro max for some reason had slower speeds on both upload and download on both wi-fi and on lte so i'm not sure what that's about um, this first test here, yeah, this actually was on LTE. I don't know why it has the Wi-Fi symbol there. But I did two tests on Wi-Fi, two tests on LTE. Um, and my speeds in the studio are a bit slow, as you guys can see here. But the um, LTE speeds are pretty high. For some reason, consistently, they were a bit slower on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Very weird, guys. These phones, in terms of speeds, very similar. I didn't see too much of a difference at all. And you guys probably saw the exact same as I did. Um, if you have any thoughts or questions, put them in the comments down below. Uh, but apart from that, guys, that is all for the speed test. Alrighty, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned because I will have a camera test coming out between these two as well. If you have any other videos you guys want me to do, let me know in the comments down below. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in another video. <laughs>